Here we are, another Monday morning. To be honest with you, I'm not quite feeling it today. I don't know, just a lot going through the old brain here, so we're getting fixing to head down to Tennessee to pick up, going to Salina, Kansas. Uh, probably get rocks back. A little cold out, so we gotta let the truck warm up for a little while. I don't know if you guys can see the uh, steam coming out, but <clears throat> so we're gonna go in, make us a cup of coffee real quick, get ready to go. And maybe I might get out of my funk. I don't know. I think I'm finally to a point where I'm ready to talk. <laughs> yeah, gum. It only took me all day. We went, got loaded down in Tennessee, and uh, drove all the way over here to Parsons, Kansas. Did uh, let me see here. See how many miles we knocked out today. If I can get get the right thing to come up. All yeah, right, we did 580 miles today. Not quite what I figured he'd do, but not bad. Hey. That big old red western star over there. That sucker's huge. Got like 50, 50 panels you got to pull open just to get to the engine. <laughs> it's actually a pusher uh, for like super, super loads where you got pusher trucks and all that. We're going to go in and get us a bacon cheeseburger. Hopefully, hopefully it's bigger than what the last one I got here. The last one was like that big and more bun than it was burger but we're gonna go in and get us burger and some tots and try to finish relaxing for the day here we go we got our burger put our pickles on there it's supposed to be a half pound i don't think it's quite a half pound but We load her up anyway. We'll make it a half pound if we have to. <laughs> Put our fake lettuce on there. I heard one guy I was talking to him, and he's like, "Don't get the mac and cheese. It's it's about all day old." I like, well, I ain't getting the mac and cheese. We're gonna get a burger. I do like their burgers here. They got decent burgers. They actually had fast service tonight, so we'll take it. So we're gonna get up in the morning and um, we gotta head across. We're, we're gonna cut up through Wichita and go up the Salina that way. Uh, it's actually the shortest and fastest route to go that way and cheapest in the fact that we don't have to deal with tolls. So that's what we're gonna do in the morning. All right, we're up before dawn actually it's about getting close to five o'clock in the morning we're uploading video over on lad's garage it's getting close to being done uh, go over check that out we me and the kids went out tinkered around in the shop for a little while the little ones not not the older one he was he was gone doing work somewhere else but uh, me and the two little ones went out and tinkered around and had a grand old time outside. Hey, you supposed to be playing with saws? No. <laughs> Kids. You know how it's like herding cats? That's what it's like trying to herd two, two, two toddlers at the same time. <laughs> but, uh, we're getting ready to get motivated. We got our coffee machine out. Get ready to fire it up. Fire it up, boys! Get us some coffee going. Feel yeah, like I'm in a little bit better mood today. I had a pretty heavy burden on me yesterday. You know, uh, coming off of a anger high, I guess is what you'd call it. You guys can tell I get mad pretty often. <laughs> not really but when I do it it's usually a spectacular thing not really 
it's really not something I'm proud of. You know, I remember once when I was a little guy, probably about five or six maybe, my sister took the last salmon cake. You know, little, little things that look like a hamburger patty. I really wanted to add salmon cake. So, I took a Phillips screwdriver and stabbed her in the hand. I took the salmon cake. I got in trouble over that. But, now that I think back, I kind of had anger issues. Stayed happy most of the time, but when I got mad, I got mad. Yeah. I think we ought to go trucking. We delivered right up in here a couple weeks ago, actually. Uh, I remember, I think we were back over there, down the road just a little bit. Not quite here, but you know, a little, a little further over. Right, they fixing the road up here. We're in Wichita. We're making progress. Told the guy we'd be there. I don't know what time I tell him. Where are you going there, car? Coming over. Told, told these guys I'd be up there between 8 30, 9 o'clock, so. We're doing good, we're doing good. There's a little cowboy out there. Hey, cowboy! Good thing we don't have to go far on this road. This thing's just straight up worse for it. <laughs> there go. Let's see, one of these places is where we're going. Don't know which one, though. Don't look like that one. I don't know if we can fit in there. Maybe this one? on that truck. Bad gun. We made it. Want to go fishing? Want to go skid steering? Want to untarp my load? I guess. They better get ready for them because they're on their way and we need to get unloaded because we got a lot of miles to knock out in the next couple days. Well, I just stopped here in McPherson at the Loves to uh, get me a sandwich real quick before I go out and load. And uh, yeah, I'm running empty. I got my axle up on the trailer. Uh, circle around the parking lot uh, somewhat. I cut up the little aisleway and I come back around to get it empty parking spot because I've seen several pull throughs. So that's what I was going for. And what you know black bobtail there he pulled in behind me coming through the end of the truck stop and like he put it in high gear since I got out of his way he put it in high gear to beat me into the parking spot as I'm turning into my spot he pulls all the way up through the parking spot I just about hit him if I wouldn't have stopped when I did I would have got him because he was inching forward as I was coming into this spot as I I think he was trying to get me to purposely hit him, honestly, but then he parks, I don't know if you can really tell or not, but he is like right on the line, bobtail. So, oh well, we're gonna go get loaded. So we gotta make some tracks today. Uh, last night I really wasn't sure what the game plan was gonna be for the day, but uh, obviously we're on our way to go pick up Rock. We gotta get back to uh, St. Jen as soon as possible because I need to get down back down where we loaded at yesterday and pick up a load coming way out here in Kansas we're going out close to uh, not too far from the Colorado border uh, I mean way out west here so uh, in order to make the loop you know turn around it's a set it's a seven, over 700 mile trip so in order to make 
and out there and back home we got to make it as far as we can today as fast as we can so we're uh we're scooting along i mean we're not doing nothing crazy or anything um, we're going to go get loaded and we're going to, I already told Brian, I said, we got to run the top, man. I said, give us a little leeway here on the way. So, I'm sure he's putting us together a lighter load. I'm not going to say light, because there's nothing light about hauling these rocks, but a lighter load than usual. And uh, Brian's really good about keeping us legal, but things happen sometimes. So, usually if he gives us a lighter load, it's easier for us to just run I-70 across as much as I hate to do it, but I think we're going to have to in order to make this all work. Now, I was going to tell you guys, I was still kind of wound up about the idiot in the bobtail, but uh, went into Love's and I was working my way through the, the truck stop to get over to the Hardee's and uh, this older gentleman, white beard, bibs, Kind of looked like an older version of me if I was 100% honest with you. Stop me asking where the bathroom was. Asked me if I knew where the bathroom was. Me naturally being lost. Was like I just seen it a second ago. But I finally found it. By the time I pointed to it, he said, I found it. Then he, then he, he just told me out of the blue. He goes, you know who Aaron Lewis is? I'm like, yeah. I said, I've been listening to him for a long time. He said, you need to listen to a song, Made in China. Is it is it is it a hit you in the feel goods or hit you in the feelings? One, I forgot how exactly they word it. One, I was surprised. He, I mean, he's an older gentleman. I was surprised he knew who Aaron Lewis was. And two, I had to listen to the song because somebody stopped me out of the blue and told me I should listen to it. Great song. All right, we are loaded and heading back to Missouri. We got. Just under five and a half hours of drive time. I'm gonna say that's probably gonna put us around, probably shut down around Kingdom City. Uh, I wouldn't mind making it further, but I just don't know that I can make it happen and still be able to get parking. I know I don't have enough time to get all the way to St. Jen, but we got we gotta try to make it as far as we can. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna have to run the northerly route. Not my favorite to run loaded, but it's really not my favorite to run, period. I'd rather run the bottom, but it takes about an hour longer, even though it's like close to 100, I think it's like 50, 60 miles shorter, not quite 100 miles, but it's like 50, 60 miles shorter to run through the lake at Ozarks, the way I usually go, versus running the north side which is a little bit further but it also takes about an hour longer to run the bottom route because of uh, all the stoplights and little towns and big hills and all that fun stuff hey you stay up there and out there you heard me Well, we pulled in here to Kingdom City, parked at the Petro. Wasn't really my first idea, but I was going to park across the road of Gaspers, but Schaefer Trucking takes up almost all the parking lot and leaves us the crappy spot. So <laughs> pulled in a spot and it had such a big pothole in it that the truck was just sitting like this. And I was like, no. And all I way to get out of it was to pull out and I was halfway out in the road and I was like, that ain't gonna work. So I came over here, I need to run inside. I need some rubber bands for my straps and a new foam piece for my headset. This thing is dying. It is horrible. <laughs> so we're gonna see if we can find, they got, carry all that stuff. Hopefully they still do. Oh. Well, I didn't find my earpiece that I was looking for. It is what it is, but I did find my rubber bands. I got two packages. 
Um, really only need one, but got two just to be safe, to have a little extra. Um, but we got to get up in the morning. We got to get through St. Louis and get down and get unloaded. We're going to try to get through before the scales all open up hopefully and I mean we're not heavy or anything but you know me don't like don't like old Barney Fife you know so we're uh, get up early get through try to get unloaded get down to uh, Tennessee get reloaded got a tarp to load so uh, gonna have a busy day tomorrow and we gotta drive as far as we can absolutely get so we're uh, going to we'll have over 700 miles loaded once i get to that point and uh yeah we're gonna have a busy day i'm hoping to get unloaded thursday and get back over uh, with enough time to get loaded thursday don't necessarily have to go anywhere just want to get loaded so our friday is smooth as butter so we're gonna close this one out. We're gonna start another video. We'll have it out in, a, I don't know. We've been doing about every two days here recently. Just a little easier with the GoPro to split it up a little bit more. So uh, y'all stay safe out there. God bless you. And watch out for them truck stop waitresses. <laughs>